conducted. When you squeeze, this is inspiration. When you leave it, one, two, expiration. Squeeze, inspiration, one, two, expiration. Squeeze, one, two, squeeze, one, two, inspiration, expiration, inspiration, expiration. It is to be seen that the eyes of the bag and mask ventilator should be on the nipple of the baby. When you give the pressure, do check that the chest is moving. If the baby is still not breathing, if the heart rate is more than 60 per minute, then bag and mask ventilation is continued. If the baby you require bag and mask ventilation for more than 2 minutes, decompressiate the stomach and NG tube is passed. After passing this to the mouth, the tube is fixed with leukoplast here and bag and mask ventilation is continued. Squeeze 1 2 Squeeze 1 2 Other end of the tube is kept open so that it acts as a vent. Case 4 Resuscitation with positive pressure ventilation and chest compression the chest compression is the third step of neonatal resuscitation. The chest compression indication is when the heart rate is less than 60 per minute even after giving bag and mask ventilation for 30 seconds. The chest compression is actually given to maintain the blood circulation to the vital organs of the body. One method is two finger method and the other is two thumb method. If the chest of the baby is small then one thumb can be kept over the other. The site of compression is one centimeter above the sophistrinum. The pressure should be to compress one third of the total width of the chest. First of all, by rolling the finger on the coastal margin sophistrinum reached one centimeter. Above sophistrinum, a two finger pulps are kept and a straight vertical angle made. And then compression started at the rate of 90 per minute say 1 and 2 and 3 and so when you say 1 you compress when you say and it is relaxation but make sure that we don't remove the fingers from the chest another method is two thumb method after locating the site the torso of the baby is encircled between the palm of the worker and one thumb is kept over the other thumb and then chest compression is given in the similar manner. Systole, diastole, systole, diastole. You may observe that he is pressuring only by the thumb and is not pressing the palm. Otherwise, one may injure the rib of the baby. The important thing to remember is chest compression and bag and mask ventilation should be given simultaneously. One and two and three and one and two and three and Case 5 Resuscitation with positive pressure ventilation, chest compression and medication. If the heart rate is still less than 60 per minute, then bag and mask ventilation is continued, chest compression is continued and medication also started. The first drug given would be adrenaline. Now the medication is given through the umbilical catheter. After locating the umbilical vein, a umbilical catheter of number 6 or 8, depending upon the size of the baby, is introduced into the umbilical vein till free flow of blood comes. Since the volume of the drug is only 1 to 2 milliliter per kilogram body weight and the drug may remain in the catheter itself and therefore, after giving the medication, this drug is flushed by using distilled water or nomoslane into the catheter. The adrenaline has an effect immediately. It is a chronotropic effect and the heart rate goes beyond 100 per minute. This drug can be repeated every 3 to 5 minutes. After giving adrenaline again assess the heart rate. If the heart rate is still less than 60 then bag and mask ventilation is continued. Chest compression is continued and plasma expander is given. The plasma expander used is saline. The dose of the saline is 10 to 20 cc per kilogram and this saline is also administered through the same umbilical cannula. The drug is given slowly over a period of 5 to 10 minutes. Generally after giving plasma expander the baby's circulation improves 
baby's acidosis also gets controlled and baby starts showing improvement. After the administration of these drugs, the bag and mask ventilation, chest compression are continued till the baby's heart rate is more than 100 per minute and baby is spontaneously breathing. Sometimes when the baby has still not started breathing and heart rate is still not improved and it has already taken 5 minutes, then we expect that metabolic acidosis might have developed. And this is the situation when soda bicarb is given. The soda bicarb is given in 1 is to 1 dilution and this soda bicarb is also given through the same umbilical route. Slowly, the important point to remember is that none of these steps are independently done. Bag and mask ventilation, chest compression and drug administration are all given simultaneously and therefore you require three people to do these steps and also a fourth person to keep the time. Now after you see that the baby is spontaneously breathing, baby's heart rate is more than 100 per minute, at that stage you see the color of the baby. The color is seen in the mouth of the baby and you see the baby is pink. We see now the heart rate of the baby has gone up more than 100 per minute. The baby is, is breathing spontaneously. Now this is the time to wean off this baby from resuscitative efforts. The bag and mask ventilation, chest compression and medication, all the things have to stop and this baby is to be given free flow oxygen.